Vehicles have their speedometers close to driving or steering wheel. For specific speeds, there is a pointer to denote on the meter, right? How about we create something like that using Excel default features without any add-ins or help from external sources? Hello there, this is Farihat Alvim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. We have a data set that contains information about several speeds of a vehicle. First of all, we will make a data set with parameters. After that, we will learn how to create a meter chart in Excel to understand the speed of a vehicle with changes in speed. We will discuss this in four steps using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. These values will be our input for div value cell. Let's click on it and add drop down list here. Go to data tab and from the data tools group click on data validation. Here from the allow drop down list we can see that here is a lot of features. So we can see that data validation can be used in date, text length, decimal, whole number etc. For now we have a list of speeds so let's go along with list. Our source will be from C5 to C7. Okay, now we can just choose any of them from the drop down list. Let's go along with 70. Now, here we will need to add the thickness we want for pointer. Let's go along with 3. And the end value needs to be added with a formula that will be equals to into the maximum value from this chart, which is C8 minus F5 minus F6. We have added two times of the maximum value so that we get a wider part among the chart. So it's easier to differentiate the pointer thickness due to its low thickness. Now let's add our meter chart. For that, select B5 to C8 first. Go to Insert tab from the Charts group. Click on Pi dropdown and go along with donut. Now right click on this donut and from the context menu go to format data series. We get the formatting section on the right of the screen. Under the series option angle of first slice will be 270 degrees. So that the total value which is the half of the data section will be the lowest section. Now we can see that the yellow part is already added in the lower part. Now select the largest point of the donut and from the data point go to fill options and here choose no fill. Close format section. Let's move our chart a little to here. Now we will add pointer to the donut. Right click on the donut again and go to select data from the context menu. We get the select data source dialog box. Under the legend series click on add. In the edit series dialog box add series name as the pointer or E4 to F4 and for series value click on F5 to F7. Ok. Click on ok again. Now we get two charts here. Now right click on the outer section from the context menu click on change series chart type. Let's move it here. Now from the change chart type dialog box under the custom combination click on the drop down for pointer and choose the first option from pi section. Ok. Now we can see that our meter chart donut is hidden beneath this pointer pie chart. Now we can see that there are three portions. Click on the bigger portions individually and Format data point from the fill section click on no fill choose this section and choose no fill as well. Now we can see our pointer alone. Now let's format it from the series option and angle of first slice will be 270 degrees. And we can see our pointer is denoting within the speed values. Let's close the format section. 
Now, if we change our values, say maximum will be 120, we can see change in our speed meter. And let's say we want to change our value to 30 and we can see that there is change in the pointer as well. We can also change the thickness for pointer. Let's say 5 and we can see an increase in the thickness of the pointer. We can also choose different colors for our pointer and choose let's say black for the fill. Using these elaborate steps, you can create a meter chart in Excel as well. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.